Greetings and salutations from central Louisiana, just about four miles west of Dry Prong. Today I was going to talk about miscellaneous things concerning my farm all 1943H. Uh, it's been a while since I've done anything on it. I have been, uh, what do you want to say, distracted <clears throat> by many other things. But I've finally gotten back during these days of so-called self-imposed isolation. Is the turn up and show it where we at with here. I mean, I've got a lot of parts on this farm all H that I have been prepping. Uh, <clears throat> We've got the rear hitch off. I've primed it. The gas tank's been primed and set in there ready. The uh, light bar that I acquired for it's ready. Some of the chassis parts and all are ready. There's the manifold. I had to get a replacement for it. That's high temperature primed and ready. I mean, various other parts are scattered about, including the grill, steering wheel, the hood and some fenders and we have been working on the, the rims and the hubs to get this 43H back together. I've been doing some painting. I had primed and now I went back over and painted. <clears throat> I brush painted the cast iron. It looks pretty good. I've touched up in a few spots with some rattle cans since I really don't have the facilities to do spray painting at this point. But it looks pretty good. The hub looks pretty good. That's the wheel weight bolts. I have to get the wheel weights in and work on those. But today's project is going to be working on his seat and getting it riveted back together. When it came to me, it had been put together with aircraft epoxy and everything else and I have refurbished it and cleaned it up, primed it, painted it. It's going to need, I just need to rivet the plate back to the bottom of it in such a way that it's clear so I can get the adjustment in there. I have been working on reassembling the seat and post and a few other things. The Woodruff keys, half moon keys, I pulled off will do not want to set back in. So I've ordered some new Woodruff keys. These are these parts are just sitting here. They're not on there yet. This is the <coughs> clutch lever, clutch pedal for the rod that runs from here to here, which the disengage and engages the cl foot clutch. But I'm just working my way from the rear of this tractor back to the front. And like I said, several things are just sitting here. I just set them up to get an idea again what they're supposed to look like so I can remember what it is I'm trying to put back together. But anyway, have a great day. May not be the best rivet job in the world, but using the existing holes and <coughs> what rivets I had available to me, this is probably the one that's going to hold the best. I put a washer around it. These two are just set back against this plate. So, but again, I'm not an expert at riveting. This is my first real super attempt at doing riveting with uh, solid rivets. Pop rivets is a different story, but this application calls for solid rivets. One day I'll get a good standalone video camera out here and film this as I do it. But this is, I put this back together based on the original holes. And we're going to see how well it holds out. So, I did rivet it back in. This isn't the original seat. This is a seat someone put in. Some would say maybe I should have pushed this back farther. But I still probably can. If I have to, I'll put the carbide burr up under there and take out the rivets and move it back, but I was using the existing holes in the seat to rivet with. Well, this part of the seat function works. And latches there. You're supposed to lift up and raise it back up. I first thought this was to keep rainwater out of the seat, but then I learned later it's so you can stand up on the 
cockpit here and see the rows as you drive. But that function works and it's in place. We'll see how well it holds on. If it don't, I'll just redo it later. Originally, this had a pin through here. I decided to abandon it and put a bolt because the pin was so badly worn and finding pins the right size have not been easy for me. So I've had to fabricate some stuff. So, but this bolt will work fine. I've got a lock nut on the end of it. It should hold everything well once I tighten it down. It's beginning to look a little bit more like a tractor. It's got a ways to go, but I'll get this cockpit back together and everything set up for at least to the grandchildren can crawl up on and sit and act like they're driving a tractor. So, but this is where we are today. Have a great, safe, and productive day. Whoop, upside down, turn it over. Yep, we're getting there. I did some more work. I didn't like my rivets. I looked at them and I shook them in place. I didn't like it, so I swapped them out with a couple of bigger rivets. So they look better. I don't know if they're doing any better holding this lard butt of mine up here. But I prefer not to fall off the top of this tractor, so everything looks good. I'm happy. Earlier I talked about riveting this seat up here and I had to use two small rivets and one large tool handle rivet I had found. And the smaller rivets did, a, did the job and I wasn't totally satisfied, so I replaced them with a, a larger tool handle rivet which was fun. I got to drill out my work I just did and replace it. But these seem to have a lot bigger and smoother head, which I suspect is closer to the original configuration that the original seat was in here. This is not the original seat, as most of y'all can tell. This is an aftermarket seat, I'm sure, come off something else. But it was with the tractor when I bought it, so I'm leaving this part as it is. There goes my docks on alarm to let me know there's trucks in the facility. So, I redid it and put, put it all together here. I'm happy with it. Everything's back together. I have to decide where I'm going to put this underside of the seat I have. y'all fussing about the world and all your miseries get outside and see the flowers blooming may not be a huge patch of flowers here but they, the be, what? they are blooming yes they are little bread butter what they look like i don't know what they are heirloom bulbs Planted a couple of years ago. But there ain't no sense staying in the house and vegetating like a couch tater. Get out and see the big beautiful world. Oh.